In the last video on how to become a tanker, I explained all different categories of tanks. Today I am going to explain some important points on the gameplay aspects of a tanker. This is part 2 of my last video. If you have not watched my last video, please go and watch it now to understand this video better. So now I will explain some points which you need to keep in mind while playing with a tanker in Heroes and Generals. My first point is do not rush. Do not simply rush your tank into the middle of a battle. First try to analyze the situation then only move your tank forward. Don't move your tank inside an objective to capture it. The second point is do not leave your tank. Leaving your tank may and most probably will result in your sudden death, because you can die from enemy sniper's hands, or even from an explosion from a projectile fired from an enemy tank. Leave the task of capturing control points to your teammates playing infantrymen, and just focus on eliminating enemies. The third point is watch out for your head. Do not pop your head out of tank until it's necessary because you are easy kill for anyone. You not only will be losing your life but your tank also. Enemy can unlock your tank and will use it against your team. The fourth point is listen. Sound is not great in this game but still you can use it to your advantage. Sounds of enemy tanks engine and shots fired from other tanks can be heard. These sounds will give you the direction of enemy tanks. The fifth point is be aware of mines. Try spot mines before running over one and simply getting destroyed. Mines are easy to spot on the roads but hard to spot in the bushes and between trees. So always be careful with that. The sixth point is evaluate your target before engaging it. Don't start blindly firing at enemy tanks. Before that, analyze what tank your enemy has. If you have light tank and your enemy has medium or any higher tank then don't mess with him, try killing infantries only. The seventh point is position accordingly. Don't face your tank's armor directly towards your enemy. Try to place your tank in an angle, so that the chances of enemy rounds getting deflected becomes higher and you will get less damage as compared to a direct hit on the armor. The eight point is use terrain to your advantage. Setting your vehicle at the top of a mountain will give you a huge height advantage over your enemies, because they will have to adapt their attacks accordingly. Height advantage will also give you a better insight to the situation of the battlefield. The ninth point is sink into your surroundings. Placing your tank in a bushes and in dark shadow area will increase as its chances of survival, because you will be a lot harder to locate, and hence a lot less susceptible to attacks, especially from the air. There's nothing worse to do than setting up your tank in the middle of nowhere, in the open. The twelfth point is keep your distance. Tanks, besides their extremely effective attacks, are known from another characteristic. They can attack from vast, unattainable for others ranges. Attacking from afar has a huge advantage, because you are practically immune to any counterattack from the enemy infantry, unless an enemy managed to sneak up on you, you can shoot across the whole map while the enemy equipped with a rocket launcher will have huge problems with hitting you. The tenth point is remember about different ammo types. Most of the tanks in the game gives you access to two types of ammo, marked with AP and HE signs. The former one is the armor penetration round, used to fight against armored targets, but it's highly ineffective against infantry, as you have to hit with it perfectly to kill the enemy. The latter one is the infantry's nightmare, High explosive round will kill the enemy soldier, even if he is hiding behind a cover, or inside a building. The eleventh point is you can fire at the enemy planes. However strange it may seem, you can, with a little bit of practice, hit an enemy plane with a round fired from a tank, you can be sure that the enemy will notice that something big just hit him. The thirteenth point is zeroing or adjusting sights. Use spacebar for adjusting the sights of your tank's cannon accurately, it makes a lot of difference in accuracy of your tank. The fourteenth point is grinding. For the purpose of unlocking best tanks and their different ammo types, always play in staged battles against bots. Do not experiment with your new tank in war mode. The fifteenth point is playing war. In war do not spawn your light tank against enemy's medium tank because that's simply a waste of resources in war. And do not spawn your tank in war if you don't have high explosives rounds in it. 
My last point is communication with teammates. Communication between teammates is a very crucial part of any multiplayer team-based shooter game. So try to communicate through TeamSpeak, Discord or any other way for better coordination with your teammates. That's all things I want to share with you guys. If you think I forgot any points you can comment down below. It's hard keep all the things in mind while playing with tanks. But with time your gameplay automatically will improve and definitely you will become a great tanker. Just keep playing and learning. Give a thumbs up if you like my video. And subscribe for more Heroes and Generals videos. Thanks for watching. The only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all the songs.